welcome to the testing world so in this session we are going to understand key component that is used for debugging in jmeter is debug sampler so i'm going to my thread group and here sampler and then we have the option of the debug sampler so by this debug sampler we can view properties of the jmeter so as of now in the debug sampler we have only jmeter related variables are true and rest of the properties are false so i clear previous results and running it again so here we are going to see debug sampler executed and in the response of the debug sampler we can see all the by default properties which are set in jmeter i'm going to the debug sampler again this time i fault this jmeter properties i want to see the system properties going to my view result tree so here i'm going to the debug sampler and this time i on this system properties run it again so here in the view result tree we can check in debug sampler in the response of the debug sampler it's showing all the system properties these are the environment variable which is set in system so hope you remember we have a path variable as well that's my path variable we have environment variable and one of the variable is path variable so it shows path variable in the same way if we are defining any variables so i'm going to the test plan level and defining few variables over there like i is equal to something one more variable j is equal to some other value and in result i want to check value of these variable so i am setting jmeter variable true and clear previous results running it again so all the variables which we have defined will be displayed as a result of debug sampler the best use of this kind of debugging when we are getting data from some external sources so i'm going to implement a scenario in which in this i'm going to create a csv file with some data so www.yahoo.com and www.abc.com so whatever data you want to put so i, I have already written and given the name is data1 and storing into the format which is csv format so that is data1.csv in my in my e, e drive going to the test case level and here i am adding a config element with csv dataset config and giving the path and uh, storing into the variable a and variable b now i want to check that i am able to successfully pick the data from the sheet or not so again i go to the debug sampler jmeter variables are on and running it so in the debug sampler in the response we can see yes in a we are storing the data this and in b we are storing data this so now we are confirmed that we are able to pick the data from the csv file and if you want to use this then we can use the variable over here so by this way we have confirmed that we don't have any issues in the csv file it might be possible that my csv file does not have any data over here i'm saving it and now if i run it so i'm going 
to clear this if i ran this so you see my request one is getting failed i don't know why it's getting failed so i'm going to the debug sampler in debug sampler in the response we are checking in a, a we are not having any data and we are using this a variable in the request so if we don't have the url that's why my request one is getting failed so that's the use of the debug sampler with the help of which we can see system properties user defined variable and the jmeter specific properties so few properties which are defined in the jmeter default we can view these properties from here clear the result running it again and in response we are getting jmeter variable then jmeter properties and if you set the system properties we are going to get the system properties as well if you want to see the same properties so we can go in the jmeter directory and here we have a jmeter property file as well so i'm just checking it that is the jmeter.properties file that properties file we can open it and all the properties which are defined here will be displayed in the gui so debug element is one of the most important element which we can use for debugging in jmeter thanks for watching this video